Hi guys, Exit Rider here and today I'm test riding the Benelli 502C. Right, so sat on the bike, it feels very much, uh, I feel very planted on the ground there. Let's turn her on, oh nice LCD screen, I like that. That nice Italian grunt to it. <laughs> I'm just going to put my foot down on the on the pegs there, and of course they're much more forward on this one. It takes them getting used to. <coughs> this looks like it's going to be quite fun. Goes all right for a 500. Right, let's see what it's like on the faster roads. Get it up to speed. There's the 0 60. Okay, so wind blast wise, there is quite a quite a bit of it. Um, but only what you kind of expect, really. Okay, so, yeah, wind blast wise, it is there. It's going to be there, it's a naked. But it's quite livable. And it's very comfortable. Yeah, if we're going around the lanes and things like that, and exploring, this is a nice bike. Nice and lightweight. Okay, this is the walk around for the Benelli 502C. Uh, I think you'll agree, it's quite a, a mean styling looking bike. It's quite nice. Um, the pillion seat is, is quite small, so uh, you know, you're not gonna be carrying a pillion for, for very far on this one, I would say. Um, but the rest of it is absolutely fantastic, I think. Um, it's a, about 220 kilograms in weight, which is so it's quite a heavy bike, uh, but everything is so low down that you, you don't really feel it at all. Um, it tips in nicely, it doesn't try and pull you any further once you do do a, a, a big turn. Um, the handlebars are the first thing that, that sort of strikes you. Uh, the, the, they're really wide, uh, I think they're about 900 millimeters wide, so. Um, it's, it's quite a, quite a big width, um, but to sit on the bike, if you're a shorter rider or a lady, I'm not saying that in a, in any way apart from you know uh, some ladies are, are, are short, to her. Um, uh, but yeah, it's um, you're going to get your your foot down flat nicely. Um, I'm five eight with a thirty inch inside leg and uh, I sit on it absolutely no problem. It doesn't feel heavy at all, even when you get it over to bank it to this sort of angle, it still feels fine. Okay, so there's lots of nice features about this bike, which I really like, such as the indicators in the back spoiler. Uh, that, that's a really nice effect, that. Um, yeah, it might get a bit covered in mud, so you're gonna have to keep it, uh, you know, keep, keep in check on that one, but that's something totally different. I've never seen that before. I like these aluminium uh, crash bars here as well. They look really nice. Um, I mean, it's, it's there to serve a purpose, but they've put a bit of styling into it and it, it looks really good. This is the first Benelli that I've ever ridden and uh, it feels uh, really good. Um, I wasn't really expecting anything. I wasn't coming into this having any preconceived ideas, but um, Everything feels as it should. There's no rattling or wobbliness or anything like that. It's it's quite quite a nice, well-made machine. I love this double shotgun uh, exhaust here. Uh, I love the the seat here. Uh, I, well, to be honest, I like pretty much all of it. Really, I'm not really a cruiser type of uh, of motorcyclist, but uh, I, it does quite it does appeal to me. This actually got a nice matte finish on the tank. Um, it's a big tank. I think it's about 20 odd liters, 21 liters. Um, of fuel that it can take, so you're not going to be filling up very often on this one. 
Okay, instrumentation wise, we've got the right and left indicators, very easy to operate, and the high beam and low beam. And also we've got a pass button on the other side of the handle. On the right hand bar, we've got the kill switch, the hazard lights, and uh, the start button. We've got LED lights all around, so that's the indicators. We've got a daytime running light for the headlights. Okay, so dash wise, it's a lovely LCD setup, and we've got the temperature at the top, fuel at the bottom, a gear indicator which is very prominent and very easy to see. We've got six gears on this one, and uh, the total mileage and uh, and the rev counter around the outside. Very nicely set up dash, and it's very readable and uh, tells you the information that you want to see uh, instantly quite easy. Okay folks, let's get going again. Listen to that. Sounds fantastic. Okay, just some uh, quick fire facts for you about this bike and I'll put all the stats up at the end anyway, as I normally do. Um, it's a 500cc parallel twin. The max torque is 45 newton meters at 5000 RPM. It's a six speed box. The seat height is only 750 mil. So like I say, as I showed you earlier, it's very easy to get on and off. And for the shorter people, it's gonna be ideal. It has a 1600 millimeter wheelbase, a 21 litre tank, uh, which is a big old tank, you know, for this style bike that you won't have to fill up very often. And uh, the uh, weight is 217 kilograms, which is quite a weight, but you know, you don't really don't feel that. It's uh, all the weight is so low down. I've done a great job of you know putting the weight at the bottom. But it is nice having a bike. It's so easy to get on. Right, let's get going. Fumes coming out. All right. Whoops. Yeah. There you go. The pegs aren't there, are they? <laughs> right. Okay, so I've gone straight down. I didn't do any video footage of uh, on the way down here. Um, just so I could get used to it before I started telling you guys what it's like. Um, this bike is... Um, it's just really enjoyable to ride. Um, it's one of those bikes you just can't wait to get on and, and get out, out on the road again. Um, the seat isn't causing me any issues yet. The gearing is just right. It's not too long and not too short. I've got decent gear indicator there. Look, you know what I'm like with my gear indicators. I do like to know where I am with it. Um, and the miles per hour shows up really quite nicely. Um, switch gear is, is, is very basic. Um, again, it's just your, your basic normal stuff as I uh, showed on the walk round. Get past these a minute. Even the sixth gear, look, it still pulls okay, doesn't it? Yeah, for a 500, that's that's good. Don't complain at all. It just just goes for it. Um, but the power plant overall feels to me really really nice. If the 502 power plant is anything like this, which I guess it's going to be mapped a bit differently, then. I think the 502X will, will be absolutely fine actually, that's the sort of adventure style um, style bike. Um, I think it's only a little bit heavier than this bike as well, so there's not a lot in it, but uh, yeah, it's alright, it's not bad at all. The sound of it is just brilliant, it really is. Okay, so what are the uh, brakes like? Nothing behind me. That's the back brake. ABS kicking in a bit. Not too bad. Could be better. Could be better. Um, the front brake is uh, twin discs on the front, so let's see what that's like. Yeah, they're good. Front brake is great. Back brake is a little bit of uh, something or nothing, to be honest with you. But again, you know, it's uh, it's good enough. It's good enough. And back brake and uh, combined, yeah, it's going to stop you. Okay, so quick fire points because it's starting to rain. Um, right, seating position is very good. 
very comfortable. It's nice having the bars up high. Um, it's a perfect uh, sort of uh, setup for a cruiser style bike. You know, it's not stupid high with the handlebars and it's not too low. The suspension on the back is, um, is okay. It's not brilliant, but it's just, um, it's, it's good enough. Suspension on the front is very good. It soaks up everything with no complaints. Dash uh, is very easy to read. It's got the miles per hour and the gear indicator, which is mainly what, our, what we need uh, when we're riding. So that's all fine. As an A2 bike, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's um, high spec, low cost. So yeah, it's absolutely brilliant as an A2. As an only bike or a second bike, it would work as well, as long as you're okay riding around for backpack, and you're okay. The mirrors are quite small, but they give you a, a wide, um, a wide angle of vision. Roll-on power is good enough. Country. Um, they've, they've put themselves uh, in a good place in the market and now that I've ridden one it's um, to be honest it just feels like another premium bike to me um, I have found out about parts and things like that and apparently um, that most dealers will stock the parts so things like filters and um, oil filters and uh, air filters and, and whatever else, you know, the maintenance stuff. It's just awareness, really, of these bikes that I think they're struggling with. Not not everybody knows about Benelli. Um, and it's a shame, really, because they are really good bikes and they, they deserve to do a bit, a bit better than what they're doing. I mean, I, I certainly don't see many around. But this bike here is, is really good. It's a fantastic bike, really good to look at. It's, uh, it's got a lot going for it, but it's just that awareness thing. Let's see what this one's like filtering now. The answer to that already is it's going to be okay, but you have to be aware of the bars, of course, because the bars are pretty, pretty big on this. But what I like about this bike is it's quirky. It's something different, you know. It's uh, not you don't see many of these around. And it's a, a really, really good bike. This very smooth, sounds great. I just love it. It's really good fun. Um, but there's plenty of uh, power to pull you out of trouble. Thank you. Right. Yeah, so uh, getting through the traffic is pretty damn good. Let's say the handlebars generally will be uh, in the same zone as wing mirrors, such as that one there. So it's something you've got to be careful of. And they are very wide as well, so. so you need to be aware of that. You know what though, that's that uh, screen there, I, I've, I've seen a lot worse screens before. I think I saw a review on one once where people were saying, or somebody was saying that when it goes into, you know, in the nighttime mode, the fuel, temp, uh, the fuel gauge goes over the other side, which yeah, okay. Valid, but not the end of the world. Perhaps just a bit of a design error. Might even have a reason for it, but... But overall, this, this bike it really does feel premium. It, it feels fantastic. It feels solid as a rock. I 
Question is, would I have one? Easy answer, yes. It's a super duper bike, this. Certainly considering what you pay for it. It's very, very good. I like all bikes, I know I, like, I keep on saying that I like them, but I do, you know, there's, um, there are bikes that I don't like, and in all honesty, if I found a bike that I didn't like, then I probably would just take it back and say, sorry, I'm not putting this on the channel. I love the, the this Benelli stuff, it's great. I really want to try the TRK now. And don't forget, when you buy this bike, it comes with two years warranty. So again, if they've got the, the, the guts to uh, take that on, then why would you have any problems? Oh, that's not car going. Um, buy with confidence, I say. Just get on and do it. It's a good bike. Absolutely brilliant. I just love the smoothness of this bike, though. I've hardly had any vibrations at all. A really good little engine, this. To be honest with you, it doesn't look like a, a 500 either. It looks something much more... It's more like a, I don't know, 650. Even 800, I would say. Um, apparently the rumour is, is that these are going to be 800 at one point as well. So, uh, making a new engine. Is, was it 750 or 800? Something like that. Um, well, they're going to be onto something then, that's for sure. But the 500 is fine in this. But the gearbox and the engine is incredibly good. Absolutely incredibly good. Um, thanks for watching this. Uh, give it a good thumbs up, please. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done already. That means I can keep on doing these videos. Thank you to CMS as well in Exeter, who lent me the bike. Um, a good shop there. They sell the uh, uh, Benelli's, Royal Enfields. Um, keyways, all sorts of bikes down there, so it's uh, worth having a look down there. And have a look at the Benelli's, you're missing out if you don't. Uh, thanks again, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.